Gehigh football team is getting ready for the second round of the postseason. They take on Turkey Valley and Jackson Junction on Friday night. Head coach Chad Winters joining us. And coach, uh, if any of your fans have uh, so-so tickers, you haven't been too kind to those uh, folks over the last couple of weeks. No, no. Last last two games have kind of been barn burners. So it, you can't find a ending like that in in high school football very often the, the goal line stand that the boys came up with and last play of the game you stop them you win you don't season's over so it was it was pretty fantastic way ending for the for that first round playoff game going through a situation like you did a, a week earlier against easton valley when you had many of those moments throughout the game did that maybe uh, put your kids in a mindset to know that they could rise to the occasion at that important time Oh, with, with, without a doubt. Um, I mean, th those kids battle, they, they don't quit. They play hard. They play the game the right way. They, they, they never give up. Um, actually the two minute drill went a little too good, uh, when we scored in three plays and gave them the ball back with, with too much time remaining and actually had the conversation, whether or not we let them score and, and try to go down and score again when they, we blew coverage on, on their first pass play from scrimmage, uh, had two guys go with one guy and left one guy uncovered and they took advantage of it for a big gain and set themselves up with, with pretty good field position. So um, they didn't hang their heads. They kind of bowed their necks and, and got the stops when we needed them. Talk about the uh, chemistry that Damon and uh, Dalton have right now, five touchdowns between the two uh, the other night, uh, 14 of the 19 completions Damon had uh, went to uh, Dalton uh, you can't uh, you can't teach that type of chemistry, can you? No, no. And and if if you watch the film, a couple of the catches that Dalton came up with, you just like I mean, if you're the opposing coach, I'm sure Coach Cap over there just tipped his hat and like Ed, defense was pretty good. The kid just made a great play. And he's got good hands. Damon throws a very catchable ball. Um, so obviously, we're taking advantage of it with with the games that he's put together the last two weeks and. Stat lines, uh, obviously nine touchdowns. Um, going forward, we got got a couple other kids that are going to step up and, and be in a situation to make those plays as well. Because I know that I know that Mark over there at Turkey Valley is going to design some stuff to help limit that, and and other guys are going to have opportunities because of that. So, and I know against Easton Valley, uh, you were a little disappointed in your running game output, uh, but last week against Northwood Kensett. 132 yards, 4.6 average. You scored twice via the running game. Did you see improvement in your running game last week? I, I think we did. Um, we were able to convert third and fourth downs when we needed to um, via either run game or pass game. Um, able to to chew up a little bit of clock when we needed to, maybe at the end of a half. Uh, obviously, like I said before, that quick two minute drill at the at towards the end of the game went went really quick. Um, didn't expect it to go that fast, but Obviously, you're going to take it when you're down, and and, and it puts you up by, by five points. Um, one of the big overlooked points of that is the, the two point play that we converted there. That, I mean, their their extra point field goal kicker was six for, six for six, and um, extra points and and kicked a field goal. So, they would have been in position there to tie the game at the end if we wouldn't have got that last two point conversion. So that that was huge that we were able to come down with that. You're in the second round of the playoffs and you have a pretty familiar opponent. I know you haven't seen this particular group this year, but you saw them in the postseason last year. These kids know each other. Uh, you guys know each other uh, very, very well. Is that a good thing, a bad thing, or no big deal? I, I, I mean, we, we play them in basketball. We play them in baseball. Uh, Hanson kids, one of the cousins to one of our kids. So I, I see them here in, in the summer on occasion. I mean, they know each other. They compete against each other. Both teams knows it, know, know that it's a big football game. Um, I'm sure Turkey's thinking that they got everybody back this year to, I mean, going into that game last year, they were beat up. They didn't, they didn't have Marcus. They didn't have Rikes. Uh, those Busta, I mean, those kids weren't able to play with, with the injuries they had. So, I mean, we didn't see their full team. Those guys are there this year, and, and they're going to put their best foot forward. Uh, <laughs> we're kind of joking about it when the – Thing the pods came out. We got to travel all over Eastern Iowa 
you get to the second round of the playoffs, we got we got by far our closest trip of the season. So normally we're just we're just getting into our bus ride and we'll be at Jackson Junction on Friday night. So that'll be a that'll be a nice little change too. Does your bus actually get warmed up going that uh, short for a trip, uh, Coach? Uh, with the, some of the trips you make, oh, we'll 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 take it. Um, <laughs> it's it's setting up to be a be a good ball game. Um, obviously, they're nine and old district champs. They're they're a great football team. I mean, they do what they do. They're consistent at it year after year after year. Um, they're hard nosed kids. They play hard. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get great effort for them. They're going to be fundamentally sound. Harold runs hard. Hanson's a great athlete in the backfield, throws a good ball. Kurtenbach just makes plays. Reichs, Busta. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. They got good linemen up front, both sides of the ball. So we, we definitely got our hands full. What impresses you the most about this year's edition of Turkey Valley? Um, last year, we just didn't get the feel for the true Turkey Valley team. I mean, you, you're hammered. I mean, you, you watch tape and you watch you watch Marcus, all of a sudden a team will get them for a yard yard gain and, and a two yard gain. And all of a sudden you think, think they got them again. And all of a sudden Janesville is popping out of the backside of the, the pile and going 60 yards for a touchdown. Kid runs hard. Um, he just kind of makes them go. They, they, everything's kind of set up off that fullback position with them. And obviously they have the ability to spread you out and put Hanson back there too. Um, they got balance. They, they can throw the ball. And if all of a sudden you guys fall asleep, there's guys running by you and and they're going in for a touchdown. So you got to you got to be able to play the the run and the pass against them. And when kids got a chance to make a tackle, they got to get kids on the ground. Otherwise, there's a chance for big plays. All right, coach. It ought to be a dandy of a ball game come Friday night. Uh, looking forward to calling uh, that one Friday night. <laughs> Keep your kids healthy. Wish you best of luck. Uh, let's have some fun Friday evening. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Darren. Chad Winters, head coach of the Key Hawks, and uh, the Key Hawks take on Turkey Valley's second round of the eight-man playoffs in Jackson Junction on Friday night.